right so morning uh, first i told this is the daily chart and they are forming a so here we can see this is engulfing pattern right here so that is why i told i draw a line here around the 3970 so if they break this level so i'll start buying from this level right so after that uh, in four hour chart here you can see uh, this is a four hour chart so four hour chart they're forming a double bottom right after uh, this one uh, bearish uh, really right uh, down really so we have seen two bottom point here uh, this was forming a support and that is why i given a neckline here right so i told if they break this level so i'll start buying right so let's see so now you can see in 15 minute time frame like uh, here have you seen this is a 15 minute time frame so when market when market break this level have you seen that level here in this candle right this candle broke this resistance line so suddenly i place a buy order above this candle have you seen this was my first buy order i placed here in this area uh, this was the higher point here you can see let me draw properly uh, this was higher point and i placed buy order above this candle so later you can see price just fell down right so that is why what i did so i just connected to higher point by using this trend channel have you seen this is higher point and this is another higher point right so i drawn this two i connected two higher point have you seen this one higher point and this one higher point later what i did I just uh, this is uh, I make this uh, resistant and after that I just push down this line and I connected this previous lower point have you seen this was a higher point and price just fell down and I connected this area so later you can see this is uh, my supporting range so that is where one market came near this area so have you seen this area I place a buy order here because in four hour chart we have seen uh, they are forming like a double bottom, right? Like that. This is a double bottom, and the daily they are forming engulfing pattern. This is a uh, bearish candle and this is a bullish candle. So uh, one I place here above here buy order, but the buy order are not executed, and again price fell down. So I seen this area, so I place near above this uh, buy order again here because uh, i told that if i want to go for sell so i'll definitely i will start selling below this level right below this uh, double bottom right like below this double bottom otherwise i'm not going to take any sell position right so later you can see i place my buy order here right my target was here first target i close and the second target will be here and the third target will be above that area so how i trade mostly i trade like that uh, when we have seen like that uh, so let me remove okay let it be so like for our first target was why here so here you can see here you can see uh, we have seen 200 moving averages are there right this 200 moving average so that is why i i just expecting that market will go at least this area so from that area again might give a retrace from this area so that is why i close i close my first uh, second order here right and the first here i close my position here second here and the third i will leave this market right for that one uh, for that next uh, third target so if you want to see here in 15 minute time frame right so i already uh achieved that first target when i i just placed buy order here above this area and suddenly i got this uh, i think uh 20 point 20 near 20 point here was my first uh, buy order right here uh, i got 20 point here exactly so later i'm looking for a 40 point another because here is a resistant line right this is the resistance uh, higher point higher point so that call higher high so here you can see higher high higher low and the higher high 
So when I connected to higher point, I have seen this third higher point. So what happens, sometimes market will reverse from this area. So I'll close next position and then later I'll close another position in this area, right? 4,000, uh, something like that. So uh, just a minute, let me check it. Is there anybody asking something? Okay. Okay, let me check it audio again once, just a minute. Are you able to hear me? So let me check it. Everything okay? Are you able to hear me? Right, everything okay, it's just swing. Okay, uh, are you able to hear me? Okay, now we can see uh, they're just uh, trying to break this level. So my position is there and I must, my first position because I bought that uh, I think uh, 30 lot and I closed uh, here 10 lot, next 10 lot and third. I'll close here all my position, right? So let's check it. Uh, so because uh, here you can see this is daily, right? If they break this level, so first, second, and third will be here in a daily. This is uh, supporting area, oh, sorry, resistant area, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, and no audio by internet so audio is okay i think uh, mr i think uh, are you hear me And now you can see uh, they already broke and uh, my next target here because I place uh, this is my next uh, target here in this area. So around that 3000 something was there, right? Here. And the next target will be here, right? And after breaking this area, so I'll add again, uh, from above this area, right? It will be like somewhere. 4,000, right? 4,008 and you can see already broke this uh, level. So we are looking for next target here around 3990 was there. 3990 was my target next target here exactly when they will break this level. So next target will be here, right? So let's check it. Uh, wait for a while. Let me check it. Okay. So do you have any query? If you have any query, so you let me know because i have position i told here i bought here first i bought here and the second my target will be here and the next 
I'm placing my next order above this area, right? So sometimes what happened? Market are again reversing from this area. So that is why I'll close my second target. So do you have any query? Or any skip like uh, zinc, lead, whatever you want, gold, silver? So that means here, uh, my neck, uh, when uh, my buy order was here, my SL was just below here. And here you can see my target was there. So let me check it. Just above this area. So my here was, I think 20 point was here. Yeah, exactly 20 point was there. And my first target was 20. 21 is to one. Second one is to two was, right? 40, you can see this was one is to one and one is to two and one is to three. Uh, 4080 one is to three my next target right so let's check it what happened already we uh shift the first target so first target was 20 20 second target is 40 here you can see my second target uh, that ratio is to one is to here was one is to one because my sl was 20 point so that is why my uh, first target was um, one is to one second target one is to two and the third target is one is two, three, around 60 point near. Yeah, this is my next target. Okay, so I think you people are able to hear me, right? So if you have any queries, so you can ask me. If you have any query, so you can ask me, right? So let's check it another skip, like uh, let me check it uh, zinc. So zinc is here, you can see this is a zinc. And uh, this is a zinc chart. So if you wanna see the first, you just find out the daily. So continuously price is failing down. So I uh, I draw a horizontal line here just below because zinc you can see they're creating lower low, right? Lower low, lower high, and they are trying to create lower uh, low, right? So you can see just they broke this area where it was this was a supporting uh, previously resistant line and forming a support. So this is a supporting zone so they already broke this level uh, in daily chart and if you see here uh, in four hour time frame the price is just uh, running below this uh, supporting area if zinc break this level so my next target will be here this is my next target will be here right so the price will be around 190 right next target i think three rupees below so that is why we have to find out the trading strategy for trading strategy we are looking for a uh, trading strategy here so here you can see the price so what uh, moving average are fo uh, following right now now you can see they are following 50 moving average right after that uh, 100 moving average again 50 moving average 50 moving average now following the 50 moving average so I'm looking for here is a sell entry. So when they'll break and I'm looking for a reverse market and some moving average will become a support line. So when I'll see a sorry, resistance line, when they will form that like that, so I'll start selling from this area. So my next target will be here, right? And this is zinc, so that is why I'm looking for sell, right? And if you wanna see another, uh, this is uh, zinc. Okay. So I think you don't have any query. So can I uh, quit now? Or you have any query so you can ask me?
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have a position, so you can go for like that. So 